Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can create a ping system in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the user Stefan Svetberg uh, wished for a tutorial how you can do that and I think he uh, means something like this so I will create that every player can ping. Um, so let's get started. First of all, I created a brand new um, game and in here I will just add slash import the basic first person starter pack, then also the third person starter pack and then also the, I don't know if I need it, but the starter content pack. Okay, I have a new microphone, I hope it sounds good. And I also plan to upgrade the quality of my videos with more structural and videos and videos with better audio quality. Okay, so after we add those things, we can go in the first person character. And in here, we can just, I will just delete that and delete the whole shooting stuff because I don't need it and I will also create uh, delete the weapon uh, I will delete everything okay and for the mesh I will just choose the mannequin and the third person animation so here I will just reset everything and for the rotation I will choose minus 90 and rotate it f uh, 45 degrees, no, minus 45 degrees, no, sorry, minus 90 degrees, okay. And now just click here, owner, no C. Okay, then if we just jump into the first person map. Uh, oh, we have an error. Uh, target must have a connection, yes, you can delete that as well, that's just for the weapon. And if we now take this, so we um, try to, uh, so take this, so one player is a server and the others are clients, then I will just choose three players, uh, put all in a window mode, and where's my third window? Here, okay. Uh, you can see only one player is moving here that's because we didn't set the level up uh, let me delete everything of that what happens now nothing okay that's good because we haven't selected this thing so just select the first person game mode and everything should work just fine yes okay a little struggle here but that happens every 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 few times in development so don't worry about such things um, okay so I will just save all of that so we now have a first person um, game but we can see all the other players with the third person mannequin um, I think that's quite good so first of all I will create a new actor and I call it blueprint underscore ping and this ping system has many different names the user who wished for this video called that beacon or pot and I call it mostly ping system or mark system so in here we can add everything we want you can create your particle effect or you can create a widget and that's what I I'm gonna do now. So I will also create a widget. I call it widget underscore ping. Then I will go back in here at an widget inter. No, we don't need an interaction. Sorry, we need just need a widget. And in here, select world. No, uh, select screen. So it's always on top of everything. Or it depends on what you like. Uh, I will ca I can show you both if you want then just add the wee underscore ping and in the ping widget I will just add an 
Mm, text, I call it text ping. You can add whatever you want in here. And I will also put the anchor completely in the middle. And with 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and everything reset here. So now maybe the text a little bit bigger to 35, maybe. Ah, that's a little bit too small, 50. Okay. And now let's see how it looks in the world if we just drag and drop this in here. And as you can see, you can see nothing. And that's because I actually don't know why that is. Did I forget something? Let's try the world thing. Oh, yes. Okay. So now we can see the things. Okay. Uh, in here. In the blueprint, I will just make a little event tick um, and find actor look. Ah, uh, no, I will save that for later. First of all, I wanted to change something here, but I forgot how it worked. Game time? No, no, no. This can't be true. So you can saw, uh, see it through walls, but screen it must be screen. Yeah, I will. Ah, uh, ah, yes, okay, perfect. Now it's always getting drawn to the screen, and now we also don't need the event tick. Um, yeah, I will maybe add to the widget a little uh, plane, maybe. No, a little. Uh, border and just here why can't I see that ah yes uh, I have no clue why I can't see that oh uh, yes we forgot to set the anchors and that's always the most important part you need to do so nothing works and I will let those flops in the video. So if you maybe came come across uh, such a failure, you can simply just maybe fix it with my video. And that's why I don't cut something like that out. Okay, now um, it should looks it should look a little bit better. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think that is good for now. You can maybe make it a little bit invisible so it doesn't uh, block the whole screen. Um, yes, um, so I think that's good for now. You can add whatever you want. You don't need to add the widget again. Uh, you can add really whatever you want that should pop out, pop up when we ping something. So just uh, delete that and go to the first person character and in here. Um, uh, if we, for example, press left click or middle mouse button, you want to ping something, you can just use that, or you can go to the settings, project settings, go to input, add a new action mapping, and we call it ping. Ping, and I will set it to middle mouse, middle mouse button. Okay, uh, then in here we can either choose the ping or the middle mouse button but that's up to you uh, there are some good features that comes with the input action thing such as remapping the keys uh, so the player can remap the keys to whatever key they want um yes uh, but now just shoot a line trace by channel just like that um, we will add a camera in here, tick use pawn control rotation and just get the forward vec vector and get the world location. And from here we can add that to the start and we can plus that and multiply that by a float and multiply that with this is the range. Um, a player can ping, so multiply that. And now, if we hit something, we want to break this. And in here, 
we want to get the impact point and we want to spawn or uh, we want to spawn it was spawn i guess uh, why can't i direct it spawn active from classes uh split that and put in the location the impact point tool into the location the rotation is uh, doesn't matter because we did the thing with the widget that uh, it rotates as we want it to rotate and then in here put the blueprint ping okay now let's see if everything works uh, just walk around why i'm so small why is everyone so small i'm looking at their asses <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, I, we need to move the camera up a little, like that. Okay, now, if we press middle mouse button, we have our ping. But the other player doesn't see the ping, so we need to change that as well. So this is some basic replicating. First of all, go in here, take replicate, replicates. If we now go back and make this it is replicating we don't need to replicate uh, take replicate movement because the thing isn't moving at all now we can ping really everything uh yes that was too far away so we can't ping the wall here if we get closer we can ping it okay then the next step we are done in uh, here no we aren't quite quite yet uh, I want to add something to our ping system, so I will just um, go into the widget and I will just create a binding for that and a new variable and I call it neutral. Uh, just do that and I will change it to a float and just do that okay now if we start it it should say zero yes okay and now we want to add the distance that is uh, that the thing is away from us so in here we want to tick and uh, first of all let's forget this for a second and do a set timer by function set time up by event sorry and do a custom event and call it delete you can also add a simple delay but i think that is cooler to do so after 10 seconds we want to remove or we want to destroy the actor and the actors itself is the uh, itself itself so just do that and with this just do that oh yeah uh, just ignore this. If we do that, you can't see that. Is it right? Okay. Yes, I forgot something huge. Okay. Um, that works. So uh, the ping is vanishing. After some time, you can also just simply add the delay and then destroy the actor from here. That's exactly the same thing. This looks cooler to be honest, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, in here we want to get the distance, not squared, but the distance vector um, from ourselves. So, we get actor, location, and from the current player. Uh, but first of all, fix the replicating. And sorry if I jump back and forth. Um, but fix the replicator first so in here um you can create a custom event and it's got error run on server underscore ping and in here just tick on run on server and here just call run on server ping uh, try this out this is the server in the top left if we do that nothing happens we do ah yes um just make this and make this okay now if we choose a client 
and ping, everything works. It is replicated on every uh, client or server or player as you wish. Okay, so now we fixed that. Just uh, format this a little so it looks nicer. Okay, um, good. That is replicated and I hope everything just delete itself after some time. Let's try this, let's try that, and let's try that. Uh, let's see if this vanish is vanishing. Okay, let's try it with the server. Should work. Like a charm. Okay, good. Now <laughs> let's finally fix that with the meter score or whatever you want to call it. And um, so get the widget, get widget. No, uh, yes, pass to the widget underscore ping. Let's see if. It works if yes perfect it worked um, and in here uh, we can change the variable meter so set meter with that thing and I will just try this now it's the meter score uh, to the point to the zero 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 point so the vector so the world origin this looks good okay and now get the player character get the world get the actor location let's see what happens now if you know ping uh-huh uh, why didn't that guy spawn? Doesn't matter. Uh huh. It's perfect. Yes, first try. I never did uh, the video before. So, what is the thing here? Um, ah, yes. Uh, well, show me that again. Access non trying to read property. So what if we put um, has authority in here? Uh, oh, I did some screenshots. I have no idea how I did that. So switch has authority, authority. What happens now? Okay, we can't do that. Uh, and I already, I already thought that, but I think this is the problem here, isn't it? No error messages. Why is that? Uh, yes, maybe because we didn't ping from the client. Uh, no, maybe because one client didn't um, spawn. That that's the reason, I guess. Okay. Yeah, uh, I will keep the the issues I come across in the video. So if you come across any similar issues, you can just copy what I did and it fixes you some headache um, so next thing is the thing that we finished this video didn't we it looks good the meters are not working at all um, I forgot that this isn't uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this isn't 300 meters away uh, so let's just to string and here make uh, a pant, a pant, it's called a pant, a pant that so um, and for meters and in here we have 300 so just divide that by 10 what happens now 
70 meters that's also wrong we need to divide it by 100 so now it should work we have 6531 meter 0 0.10 meters 90 meters mm -hmm. I also want to to do that true int uh, true int 1.6 becomes okay. It uh, doesn't matter what we choose here, I guess. Oh, um, no, I will choose round. Okay, I can delete that. And now, why is it one meter? It's clearly zero. So, uh, we got the bug again. Maybe, the, um, just subtract a one zero okay that looks good i hope you enjoyed that video again please keep in mind that you can add anything you want in here and now this is the final version the final replicated version uh, of the system if you want uh, in the future that we add uh, for example item pinging um, then you can comment it down below and maybe I will do that in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe and like this video as it really helps me grow on YouTube. Goodbye.